on guys and welcome to another video of wild kinetics my name is elam and today i'm going to be showing you um how to animate assemblies by the way i hope you guys uh like my new intro this is probably the intro that i'm going to be staying with from now on from this video on so without further ado let's get started here i have just a sample model of a pneumatic engine that i was working on this is what the engine actually looks like but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you the movement of the piston. So this, I want to animate this. So as you can tell, I have to move it like this, and it looks kind of weird sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go on the mate, which is a cylindrical, which means it has two degrees of freedom. It can move back and forth, and it can rotate uh, in order so that way I can animate it. So I'm going to right-click on my mate and then hit animate in your... Uh, options and then you have the two degrees of freedom like I said before you want to click on this one right here the one that rotates if you click on the one that slides back and forth it won't work in this situation because it's fastened now you have different options you have your start value and your end value so if you want to do like multiple rotations I would recommend putting this at a, a really high degrees like 10,800 and then have your steps a little small but um, for the purposes of, this, of for the purposes of this video, I want to show you guys that it actually moves. And when I put anything below 1,000 steps or the frames that it takes um, to do the animation, it doesn't show very well. So I'm going to check reciprocating playback, which means that it'll rotate. And once it finishes its full 10,800 degrees of rotation, it's going to go back again. And then all you do is you hit the play button. You wait for it to calculate. And there you go, you have an animation right there. As you can tell, it's moving on its own uh, by itself. Um, the less steps you use or the less frames you use, the faster it goes and vice versa. The more steps you use, the slower it's gonna go. Uh, because of my internet connection, as you can tell, it's kind of getting a little laggy, but that's fine. It's gonna eventually speed up again, maybe. But that's basically the main idea of how you can do animations. You can also do this for slider mates and obviously the cylindrical mates that I showed you, and then Revolutes too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you can check out all my other videos. Like, share, comment, and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button so that way I can keep posting more videos. Uh, once again, I appreciate you guys for all your support, and as always, thank you for watching.